What happens when China, the world's dominant supplier of rare earth minerals, suddenly halts exports of materials critical to everything from your iPhone to fighter jets? On April 4th, 2025, China stopped shipping seven rare earth materials in retaliation for new U.S. tariffs imposed by President Donald Trump, as reported by Reuters. These minerals, vital for electric vehicles, military tech, and consumer electronics are now stuck in paperwork limbo with Chinese exporters waiting for government licenses that may never arrive. Given China's near monopoly on these scarce resources, this move has sent shockwaves through global supply chains. If your next phone, car, or drone arrives late or costs more, this is why. Let's break this down in six steps, exploring the stakes, the motivations, and what this escalation means for global stability. Let's dive in. Chapter 1. China Slams the Brakes on Rare Earths On April 4, 2025, China halted exports of seven rare earth materials, samarium, gadolinium, terbium, dysprosium, lutadium, scandium, and yttrium, in a direct response to new U.S. tariffs imposed by President Trump. Reuters reported that this move came as part of a broader retaliatory package, which also included a 34% tariff on all U.S. goods, matching Trump's latest tariff hike on Chinese imports. The rare earth export restrictions, announced by China's Ministry of Commerce, require exporters to apply for licenses, a process that has ground shipments to a halt. Sources told Reuters that exporters are now stuck in paperwork limbo, with approval timelines ranging from six weeks to several months, if licenses are granted at all. China's decision targets minerals critical to high-tech industries. Rare earths are a group of 17 elements used in everything from smartphone vibration motors to EV batteries and fighter jet magnets. China produces around 90% of the world's rare earths, making this export halt a significant blow to global supply chains. Posts on X reflect the alarm, with users noting that without these materials, industries like defense and tech could face severe disruptions, potentially halting production of F-35 jets and raising smartphone prices by 15-25%. Post ID 2, Post ID 5. This isn't just a trade spat, it's a strategic move with far-reaching consequences. Chapter 2. Trump's Tariffs and China's Retaliation The rare earth export halt is a direct retaliation to Trump's escalating trade war. This followed a 10% tariff in January, targeting Chinese imports over Beijing's failure to curb fentanyl exports, according to Al Jazeera. Trump's strategy aims to pressure China into compliance, but Beijing has responded with equal force. On April 8th, China raised duties on U.S. goods to 125%, calling Trump's tariffs a joke, per Reuters. China's export controls on rare earths are a precision strike against U.S. industries. The seven restricted elements are crucial for permanent magnets used in EVs, fighter jets, and electronics, as noted by Bloomberg. Dysprosium and terbium enhance neodymium magnet performance, while samarium cobalt magnets are used in missiles, per Reuters. The U.S., which relies on China for 80% of its rare earth imports, has only one operational rare earth mine, MP Materials in California, making it highly vulnerable, according to Investing News Network. China's move echoes past actions, like its 2010 export ban to Japan during a maritime dispute, which sparked global concern over supply chain reliance, as reported by Al Jazeera. Chapter 3. The Rare Earth Stranglehold China's dominance in the rare earth market gives it immense leverage. The country controls 70% of global rare earth production and 90% of processing, per estimates from the U.S. Geological Survey and the International Energy Agency, cited by Al Jazeera. These 17 elements, including the seven now restricted, are essential for modern technology. Scandium is used in aerospace and 3D printing, yttrium in jet engines and radar, and gadolinium in medical imaging, according to Reuters and The Globe and Mail. 
Without them, industries grind to a halt. Smartphones, EVs, and military systems all depend on these scarce materials. The export halt has already caused chaos. Reuters reported on April 11th that shipments stopped on April 4th, with Chinese exporters facing delays as they await licenses from the Ministry of Commerce, a process that could take months. This follows China's earlier restrictions on other minerals like gallium, germanium, and antimony in December 2024, which also targeted U.S. supply chains after Biden-era semiconductor sanctions, per Optologic. Prices for affected minerals have skyrocketed. Antimony surged from $14,000 to $60,000 per ton since China restricted its export, highlighting the market's sensitivity to Beijing's controls, according to Reuters. Number December Chapter 4 Global Supply Chains Under Pressure The halt on rare earth exports threatens to disrupt global supply chains impacting industries from consumer electronics to defense. The U.S., heavily reliant on Chinese rare earths, faces immediate challenges. Mark A. Smith, CEO of Neocorp Developments, called China's actions a precision strike against the Pentagon supply chains, noting that materials for F-35 jets, missiles, and satellites are now at risk, as reported by Investing News Network. On X, users warned that defense production could halt 78% within 90 days, while smartphone prices might rise 15-25%, and EV production could face eight-month delays. Other nations are also affected. China's export controls include permanent magnets and finished products, which are hard to replace, per Reuters. Canada, a potential alternative supplier, produces germanium and scandium, but can't meet all North American demand, though it could support strategic needs like defense, according to The Globe and Mail. Australia's Linus Rare Earths has partnered with the U.S. Department of Defense to develop a processing plant in Texas, but scaling up will take years, as noted by Al Jazeera. Meanwhile, China's restrictions could hypercharge investments in alternative supply chains potentially benefiting countries like Canada and Australia. But the immediate impact is a scramble for scarce resources. Chapter 5. Geopolitical Implications China's rare earth export halt is a geopolitical power play, escalating the U.S.-China trade war to new heights. Beijing has long used its mineral dominance as a weapon. Past restrictions on gallium, germanium, and graphite in 2023 and 2024 targeted U.S. high-tech industries, as documented by Optologic and Reuters. This latest move aligns with China's strategy to counter U.S. economic pressure, especially after Trump's tariffs, which now total 104% on Chinese goods, per CNN. Xi Jinping's government aims to reduce reliance on the U.S. market, courting the EU and strengthening ties with Brazil and Latin America as reported by Reuters. The U.S. response has been mixed. Trump's invocation of the Defense Production Act in March to boost domestic critical mineral production signals a push for self-reliance. But the U.S. lacks sufficient processing capacity, with China controlling 99% of heavy, rare earth processing, per Al Jazeera. The EU, caught in the crossfire, faces supply chain risks as well. Its own industries rely on Chinese rare earths, and Trump's tariffs on Asian economies like Vietnam, 46%, further complicate global trade, according to CNN. The broader geopolitical fallout includes market volatility, with the Dow dropping over 2 microschist hundred points on April 4th, as reported by The Register, highlighting the global economic stakes of this escalating conflict. Chapter 6 a supply chain crisis with global stakes. China's decision to halt rare earth exports on April 4, 2025, marks a critical escalation in the U.S.-China trade war, threatening global supply chains and economic stability. With seven key minerals, essential for smartphones, EVs, and fighter jets, now stuck in bureaucratic limbo, industries face delays and price hikes, from iPhone production to military manufacturing. Geopolitically, 
China's move leverages its mineral dominance to counter U.S. tariffs, signaling Xi's resolve to withstand economic pressure while exposing the West's vulnerability to supply chain disruptions. The U.S. and its allies are scrambling for alternatives, but domestic production efforts lag, leaving them exposed in the short term. This crisis underscores the high stakes of resource dependency in a fractured global order. China's rare earth stranglehold could reshape trade, technology, and security for years to come, forcing the world to rethink its reliance on a single supplier in an increasingly volatile landscape.